Jumbo and good evening to everybody. I hope you guys are doing well on this Labor Day. So this is a highly requested live video um, from my Canadian friends. So I have probably more Canadian subscribers than any other country, maybe not America, but um, more so than any other part of the world. And so it has been requested to do a Canada focused essential oil chat um, just because there's different Canadian lingo, different things that I can talk about when it comes to using essential oils for your health. And so I decided, all right, I will just go ahead and do a live video. I was gonna do it on Facebook, but I have many more of you guys here um, than I do on Facebook. So I wanted to do it here live on YouTube and um, answer any questions that you guys have. So if you have questions as I go along, please, please, please leave them in the little comment section. I think I can see them as they scroll. We'll see, I don't know. Give me a hey, how you doing? Um, just so I can make sure my comments work because sometimes internet, a little wonky, you just never know. Um, so hi, if you guys uh, do not know who I am, you probably do, but if you don't, hi, my name is Anne. I have this YouTube channel here called Annie Simple Life. And uh, my YouTube channel started about, um, I don't remember even when I started this, probably 2008, 9, 10-ish, somewhere in there, I don't know. And started out as a food channel, actually. My first videos were how to cut a mango and how to cut a pineapple and all those things. I did um, vegetarian recipes. I was vegetarian for a while, so I did that kind of thing. Um, and then it kind of just progressed into other types of recipes and then Dollar Tree hauls and then essential oils. And here we are today in the essential oil world. I am completely obsessed with essential oils because they work. Um, I was looking for an alternative to what was out there available to me in my health we'll call it journey I guess um, I have always been into natural remedy kind of things ever since I was in elementary school I was the weird kid doing yoga in her bedroom because <laughs> you know um, and so I always liked those those old like 1970s books where they were like home remedies and this kind of thing so I've always been interested in natural health and getting into essential oils has been a complete game changer for me I've been using essential oils for probably about I would say seriously four years now, um, casually maybe a year or two before that. And uh, now I use them every single day of my life, all day, every day. And so I'm here to talk to you guys about them too because from what I understand, y'all are interested in them too, so that's a good thing. Um, so essential oils, these little bottles that you see have been kind of popping up different places and um, they're not new. Um, they have just been rediscovered fairly recently, pretty much after World War II, they kind of started becoming popular again. Um, but these things are old, over 4,000 years old or maybe even older. Um, they're mentioned in the Bible 1,100 times. And so they are uh, ancient, we'll say medicine, ancient medicine, um, ancient ways of being able to support your health and well-being. And so uh, what they are is they're basically, um, you know how when you smell a flower or you have maybe herbs or something in your kitchen and you pinch a leaf of basil and you can smell that basil smell, well, what you're smelling is the essential oil. And the essential oil is like the life blood, we call the blood of a plant. So it keeps it healthy, it keeps it growing, it protects it from pests and things that want to eat it. Um, if like a leaf gets cut, it doesn't kill the plant, right? It just kind of heals the edge of it. Um, just like our blood works for us, it helps oxygenate ourselves and all that stuff. So the essential oils can do some really cool things with our bodies because there are compounds in here that you can do lots of research on. Uh, tons of research on the internet. I'm not going to go into all the scientific names of everything that they can do and all that, but um, it's really just a fascinating science. And so essential oils are um, popping up everywhere, like I said, because they work, but not all essential oils are created equally. And so I'll get into that in just a second. So when you're using essential oils, there are three main ways of using them here in the U.S. There are two 
main ways of using them in Canada. So in Canada, we can use essential oils either topically, which means applying an oil to the skin. We wanna dilute it first in a fatty vegetable type of oil. So like a coconut oil or an avocado oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, you get the idea. Any kind of oil that you would cook with, but not like lard or um, any of those like yucky oils like cottonseed oil or canola oil or corn oil. We don't want any genetically modified, scary oils, industrialized oils, but you know, I would stick with jojoba or coconut or avocado. And you can use that to dilute your essential oils down. Uh, essential oils are very, very concentrated. So um, just to kind of give you an idea of how concentrated essential oils are, one bottle of lavender is about 25 square feet of lavender plants a lot of plant material, right? So they're very, very concentrated. So one little drop goes a really long way. And that's why in Canada, we want to dilute those. Second way is using an oil aromatically. And that means just opening the bottle up and just smelling the, the scent, you know, the molecules, you're getting the molecules into your limbic system, into your olfactory system by just smelling the oil, or you can use it in a little machine. And you've probably seen this behind me if you watch my videos a diffuser this little thing here um, so what you do is you fill it up with water um, to that little red dot that's in there and then you put you know three to five drops of the essential oil in there and it sprays the molecules of the essential oil in the air so you're gonna get the good scent but you're also gonna get the properties of the oil just kind of swirling around that you can smell in um, the molecules of the essential oils are so small that when you smell them there was a study done not too long ago that showed that the essential oil molecules will reach the heart the liver and the thyroid in three seconds when inhaled and it actually crosses the blood brain barrier too which is pretty fascinating um, the molecules are smaller than viruses and they're actually smaller than cells too so when you put it on topically it'll cycle through even when you smell it it'll cycle through your entire body in 20 minutes so a way of like kind of doing a little experiment if you wanna try that out for yourself is if you take a really strong essential oil like peppermint, you put it on the bottom of your feet, you'll probably taste it within 20 minutes. So it's kind of like a cool thing even though you didn't put the oil in your mouth. Weird, right? Totally weird. So when we use the essential oils, we can use them to support all of our different body systems. And in Canada, um, Young Living essential oils are approved as natural health products, um, also called NHPs. And um, these are really cool because Health Canada says, yeah, these can things can help with cough and cold and rheumatoid arthritis, strains and sprains. We in the US call it eczema, but I think it's eczema in Canada, is that how we say? Um, acne, boils, um, digestive discomfort, stress, that kind of thing. So it's really, really cool that Health Canada has approved a lot of these things for those various ailments, we'll say. Um, but we can also talk about how these oils support our different body systems Two, from a more generic side, I guess, but you guys will understand what I'm talking about. Um, headache is another one that uh, Health Canada approves essential oils to improve symptoms of, so it's really cool. So let's get into them, shall we? Um, so I wanna talk about the NHPs first, and then I'm gonna talk about other oils that I kind of use in my daily routines. And again, if you guys have any questions as I go along, let me know in the comments below here. Um, I'm happy to answer anything that you guys have as long as I can compliantly answer it. <laughs> I would do my best. All right, so I'm pulling up some notes. I've got some notes behind your head here about um, NHPs, natural health products. Hang on, I just closed my tab. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening? Hold on, I need to Google. Natural health products, there we go, NHPs, perfect. All right, so the first one I wanna talk about is one of my favorite essential oils. Um, this is good for improving symptoms of cough and cold. Actually, both of these are. And the first one I'm gonna talk about, I've talked about this a lot, is Thieves. Now, Thieves is a really weird name for an essential oil. It's like, why in the world would you name an essential oil Thieves? I'm gonna smell it. It smells like Christmas. Oh yeah, this is really good. It smells like clove and cinnamon. It also has rosemary, eucalyptus, and lemon in it too. And it is just like Christmas in a bottle. I absolutely love it. Um, this one I will put in my diffuser to help support my immune system. Uh, you guys probably know if you watch my channel that I teach music lessons to my music students. 
Most of them are middle school, high school age. Um, and I always have about three to five drops of Thieves going in my diffuser when I have my music lessons going and they think it just smells good which is fine. I'm happy to just let them think that. Um, but actually I'm supporting our immune systems while they're blowing on me, you know, with their flute lessons. I got this thing going. I'm like hugging my diffuser and smelling it um, to keep my immune systems going strong. So I'll also use this on the bottom of my feet too. Anytime I travel, even if I'm going to the grocery store, if I leave the house at all, I am putting thieves on the bottom of my feet and it's great for cough and cold too. Kind of a cool thing. So thieves, why in the world would you name an essential oil thieves? That just sounds weird, right? So this goes back to the legend of the plague, not the legend, the story of the plague back 1300s, 1400s in Europe. There were these guys going around that were robbing the dead and the dying, but they were not contracting the plague. And it turns out they were caught, taken to the king. King offered to grant them leniency if they would disclose to them how they were not contracting the plague. They were spice merchants and they were wearing these scary like cone beak mask things, medical cone beak masks, and they were rubbing the insides of them with cinnamon and clove and yada, 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 the four thieves vinegar. That's where the thieves name came from. This is where, this is really what put Young Living on the map because it is cray cray. This is really, really cool stuff. I want you to do some Googling after I'm done here and just look up bread, like piece of bread, loaf of bread, just Google bread thieves essential oil and just look it up. It's kind of a cool thing. So cough and cold thieves, you have to have this in your arsenal, especially my gosh, we're coming up on fall and winter time. We're going to need something to support our cough and colds, right? Support our immune system. So thieves is definitely every single time. Second one I want to talk about in regards to cough and cold is RC. And I actually, oh, I do have it in here. I didn't think I did because I used it the other day. <laughs> so RC is a blend of three different types of eucalyptus and there's marjoram in it and lots of other things. And it smells, oh, yay. Hi, Amy. Um, I love RC. This is Canada Day. This is so good. I love this. Um, RC smells to me kind of like a, uh, a spa oil a little bit. Um, I like to put it in my diffuser. I actually had this diffusing earlier today. Again, improves symptoms of cough and cold, which is a really good thing. The, the eucalyptus that's in here will smell very reminiscent of maybe a chest rub that your mom may have used on you when you were little and put like a little napkin on then you would go to bed you know so you wouldn't get all of your jammies um it's very similar to that which you would get from your um whatever you call like pharmacy or whatever it's called in canada i don't know do they have walgreens in canada i don't know i went to one i was in canada about two months ago and we kept running into this uh certain type of like pharmacy but i can't remember the name of it but it reminded me of like what we have down here in the states of like a cvs or a walgreens so yeah anyway i don't know where i'm going with that <laughs> but love 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 rc um everything lungs if you have lungs rc is just a great supporter it'll open you up um especially if this time of year if you sleep with the windows open at night um i tend to wake up a little bit kind of stuck it's a little bit so I like to just smell RC right from the bottle or I'll put it on my chest or put it like under my nose like right here just to really help open up my um, my airways here really good so my cough and cold like getters thieves and RC love 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 these two together um, other things from an immune system standpoint I like oregano oil there's no walgreens we have a lot of shoppers drug mart that's where i went yes we do call them pharmacies though okay awesome yeah there's like a lot of things it's so funny because how similar canada and the us are but not <laughs> in various forms it's just really interesting you cross that imaginary border and then it's like what totally different just funny um what was i going with this oh immune system i want to see if oregano is approved as a, a natural health product hang on um, LMNOP, peace and calming, patchouli, orange. It doesn't look like it is. Okay, so from an immune system standpoint, from supporting my immune system, I like to use oregano essential oil as well. Um, here in the US, they've been doing trials of um, using oregano oil on things like E. coli and, and for like food, um, food, I don't know what you wanna call this here in the US, like, science there are food scientists here in the u.s i'm probably there probably are in canada too um safety 
precautions. So they're doing lots of experiments on that kind of thing down here. Um, but I just love using oregano oil, just supporting my immune system. I will put a drop on the bottom of my feet again before I travel. If I'm going on an airplane, if I'm going to Disney World, oregano is on my feet every single time. I love that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I want to say about immune system. One more cough and cold one I want to talk about is peppermint. I don't have peppermint in here, so I'll just talk about it. Peppermint is also approved by Health Canada for improving symptoms of cough and cold. It is one of those essential oils that if you smell it, it will immediately like open you up. It is just so strong that it you can't help but focus on anything, but you're, you know, you, you have to like zero in your focus on the peppermint oil. It will just like wake you up in the morning, um, really opens up your lungs a lot, just smelling it right from the bottle. So that's a really nice Nice one also for improving system symptoms of cough and cold. All right, so I want to talk about digestion because peppermint also falls into the digestion category. Um, it is approved um, as a supporter for digestive discomfort. I want to see if there's anything else that I want to talk about um, with peppermint in regards to that. No, um, it is one that when you put it on topically, it has menthol in it and it will feel like one of those icy hot kind of sensations. Um, it's very good. I mean, peppermint helps to relieve joint and muscle pain. So you can kind of imagine that it would be one of those things where it would just feel like cool and hot. It's just a very relieving kind of feel. Um, I feel that when I put it on my stomach for digestive discomfort too. And so for this, I will dilute it in a drop of a fatty oil, like a coconut oil, and I'll just put it right on my stomach. And it just helps a lot. And peppermint is also tricks of the trade here. Really good for, oh yay, Jacqueline, I'm so glad that they're helpful. Yeah, I can talk about these things all day long. <laughs> It's like kind of an obsession now because they work and it's like I can't not talk about them because it's like mind blown. Um, so what you can do if you have a digestive system that tends to speed up if it's like if you get stressed out or if you're traveling or if you just feel like you need to calm your digestive system down if it's on overdrive, peppermint for seriousness, peppermint is the way to go. Um, there's a reflex point on the front of your shins, and I do mean shins, right under your knees, on your shins. People ask me about this all the time. Um, yes, I'm not kidding. <laughs> if you put your peppermint oil on the front of your shins, on your legs, um, it is a reflex point for your stomach, and within 20 minutes, you can totally feel a difference in needing to calm your digestion down to soothe your digest digestive system. My husband's GI actually recommends peppermint as well um, in that regard. So um, if you're on the other end of the spectrum and you need a support in speeding up your digestive processes, let's say, or you've had a very large meal and you're just like, oh, I need something to help my food digest. I just want to feel a little bit better. Um, Digize. This is a stinky, stinky oil. Essential oils, they don't all smell good. And this is a hard hump for people to get over um, because I know, I don't know, Amy. It's so weird, like why you would think to put oils on your shins. I know, it's just very odd. I don't even know where I learned that from, but when I tried it, I was like, sold. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, I don't even know where I, I learned that. I learned it so many years ago. It just works. Um, so Digize, this guy here, um, essential oils, they don't all smell good. These aren't perfume. These aren't just smelly good things. These are plants that don't all smell good that will do some really cool things in your body if you just give them a try. So Digize to me smells like a health food store a little bit. Um, there's patchouli in it. There's ginger, fennel, anise, um, anything else that I can, I could just look peppermint in here too. Yeah, lemongrass. So lots of things that'll smell like your local health food store. Um, I smell the ginger strongly with this one and um, I don't love the smell of it, but it's so comforting and works so well that I just get over it and I just use it. So with Digize, um, again, if I have a big meal, if I'm really feeling like I need to support my digestive system or I need to 
speed things up if I feel like my processes are a little slow. Uh, die dies right on the belly, or again, that reflex point on the front of your shins, it can help get things moving. So I know a lot of people have um, like slower thyroid and things like that, other reasons that their digestive system would slow down. Um, so if you just need support in that area, die dies is great. Great for kids. Too. Um, I know a lot of parents that use this um, or from the US they'll get um, tummy dyes. You can buy essential oils from the US market in Canada which is really nice um, if you want to do that or you could just use dye dyes and it's just so good. It's just so I don't know calming and comforting and just works so good. <laughs> dye dyes and thieves were the two essential oils that got me completely sold on uh, Young Living. So Amy saying we put peppermint on our chest when using dye dyes to mask the odor. Genius. I like to do that too. Um, if I just, I will layer them. I'll put dye dyes on my belly and then I'll put peppermint on top because there is a roller bottle is a great idea too. Um, there is peppermint in the dye dyes, but you don't, sm it's not very strong. You don't smell that as much as the ginger or the patchouli. So, um, but yeah, they both work so, so good for digestive discomfort. So it's a great thing. Um, any other digestion supporting essential oils that I want to talk about? No, um, but I do want to talk about a couple of other things that have worked for me from a digestive standpoint. Um, I don't know if I, none of these are approved as natural health products. I don't think that I'm scrolling through here. No, that's okay. I'll still talk about it. Um, from a digestion standpoint, I love to use digestive enzymes. And the ones that I use from Young Living are called Essential Zymes 4. And it's actually two pills that you take at the same time. There's a yellow one and there's a white one. And one of them works immediately to help your food digest. And the other one works lower. It's a timed release capsule, works lower in your digestive system to help you get those nutrients out of your food because it's not what you, you are what you eat, right? It's you are what you absorb. And if you're not absorbing your nutrients from your food, you're not getting all that nutrition and you're not going to be as healthy down the road. So using digestive enzymes, I highly recommend doing that. Also using a probiotic. I love using probiotics. I use Young Living's probiotic. It's called Life 9. It has nine different strains of bacteria and um, it is like a comprehensive uh, probiotic. It works really good. I'll take one pill before bed. So love that from a digestion standpoint. If you guys have any digestion questions, let me know because that's a big topic here in my household. <laughs> We have autoimmune disease in our household, so always gotta talk about digestion when we're talking about any autoimmune disease. Take a look at autoimmune protocol. I can get off on a tangent on that, but I won't. All right, so getting into um, other body systems that I like to support using oils, one of which is stress. I have a class coming up tomorrow on Facebook all about de-stressing. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I will send you the link. Um, email me, Annie's Simple Life at gmail.com, annysimplelife at gmail.com, and I will send you that event on Facebook. It'll be tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, and it's just a live chat like this, but it'll be on Facebook, not on YouTube. Um, stress is a big thing in our household. I uh, Just last night, I had a very stressful night last night. Um, one of those, and I'm sure you guys have been there, you wake up in the middle of the night. Oh good, Amy, I'm glad you'll be there. Um, and you just, your heart's racing, right? You just, you're sweaty, clammy, can't like get comfortable. I hadn't had one of those episodes in a very long, 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 long time. So I reached for my oils because oils help us with stress. They just do, it's super good. Um, so let me pull up my stress oils here. Ones that I really like to use um, for my stress and anxiety. Can I say anxiety in Canada? I can say uptight, that's what I can say. Um, so I will say that. I love to use lavender, and that's what I used last night. It was super duper helpful. So this is lavender right here. Now 90% of the lavender that's on the market is a hybridized imitation lavender, not this guy, all right? So this is real live lavender. I actually went to the Young Living um, farm in Mona, Utah, a couple of months ago. That was in June now. And I planted lavender. It was so cute. It looked like a little sprig of rosemary. It was super tiny. I went in, I dug in the ground, I put it all in there and it was just so adorable and it'll be distilled in three and a half years. <laughs> so we gotta wait. 
a little bit of time. That's okay. Um, so the lavender is so good for any kind of anxiety or stress or anything like that um, because it is an adaptogen and an adaptogen helps you to adapt to your stressful situation so it doesn't stress you out anymore. It's kind of a cool concept. So what you can do with this, it's a nervine calmative. Is that how you say in Canada? I don't know. We don't really say that here in the US for some reason. I don't know. Oh, it's just so good. Um, and it just helps you to adapt to your stressful situation. So it'll just be kind of a a chill out, a chill pill in a bottle. Um, also good to use topically too. I like to use it before bed or in my diffuser before bed too, especially with cedar wood. I like to pair those two together because it really helps you just wind down. And actually, if you guys will bear with me here, I'm actually going to put some lavender on right now. Um, I didn't dilute this, sorry. Um, you're supposed to dilute your lavender if you use it topically. So of course, always follow bottle instructions unless you know how your body's going to react to it. There's my little disclaimer for you guys. Um, but I have these two really bright lights staring at me and it's 8.25 p.m. here, unless you're watching the replay. I don't know what time it is where you are. Um, so I wanna use this to help me be able to fall asleep after I have these like bright as the sun lights sharing, like shining in my face. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> also lavender is great for a digestive discomfort too. Um, really good for bloating kind of feelings. So if you have that, um, putting lavender on your belly helps with, with bloating. And a lot of times when people do get stressed out, their digestive systems tend to respond with it too. And so lavender is just kind of the jack of all trades where it'll help you just chill out and help your digestive system chill out as well. So, but yeah, with lavender, I just get it on me. I try to smell it and uh, it really helps me snap out of those kind of anxious types of feelings. Um, just gonna peek at my guide here to see if there's any other ones. Yeah, Stress Away is another big one. I've been using this all day because after my little episode last night, I've had like just, I felt like frayed nerves today. Um, so Stress Away, I've been using a lot and this is like a vacation in a bottle. It smells um, to me like, it's like lime and vanilla and it has essential oils in it that are very, very good for a relaxation standpoint. It helps to relieve your stress. Um, lavender is in this. Jumbo Mike, how you doing? Um, I love, love, love using this because it helps to support a normal heart rate and a normal heart rhythm. Um, so this is one that I've been using a lot today because last night when I woke up in the middle of the night, my heart was just going and it was just one of those things. And you know, if you have those kinds of occasional anxiety types of things. You know what I'm talking about and how frustrating it can be when you feel like you've got it under control and then all of a sudden it just like flicks you on the nose, you know what I mean? So anyway, I've been uh, downing <laughs> the stress away today. I've been using it like crazy. Um, so anyway, there we go. And I, now I smell amazing. So there's that. Um, any other ones that I wanna talk about I don't think so. I mean, there are a lot of essential oils that are really good for uh, stress and things like that. Like I talked about before with the peppermint, how strong it is. When you smell that peppermint, it will immediately knock you out of those like circular patterns of things. You know, sometimes we get like ruminating thoughts and we just can't get our minds off of them. Smelling the peppermint, you have no choice but to focus on the peppermint because it is so daggone strong that it really helps as well. So I actually used peppermint last night as well just to get my mind like chilled out. And it's not even like I was focusing specifically on one Thing, but it, I, I don't know. It was just like my mind was like whoa, all over the place. So really important. Got to use a combination of essential oils. Um, ooh, all right. Katie's asking, what do you think about these new essential oil necklaces? Do you think they work well? Bug bites. Oh, yes. I'll get into bug bites in a second. Um, so I have an essential oil necklace. The one that I have is an essential oil diffuser, like locket. Um, and so I'll put essential oils on the little cotton pad. Um, that is in the locket and I'll wear it around. Now, typically I wear it um, mostly for a scent standpoint. Um, from a therapeutic property standpoint, I mean, you're still smelling in those molecules. So yeah, you know, it, it would work. Um, I like to just put yummy scents in there. Like if I'm having, let's say digestive discomfort, I'm not gonna put Digize in my locket 
diffuser necklace. I'm going to put it on my stomach, you know, but if I'm out in public and I just want to smell something that smells good, I'll use the stress away. I'll put thieves on it. I'll use something that's called citrus fresh or like Christmas spirit that smells like pine and orange and cinnamon, you know, like I'll use those superficial good smelling things um, in my diffuser necklace. So I hope that answers your question. I hope that's what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what you're talking about. They have ones that have like lava beads and things like that that you can do too. Um, they also have ones that are uh, kind of like leather a little bit that you can put the oils on there too. And yeah, I mean, you're going to get those molecules in your, your olfactory system. So yeah, absolutely. I highly recommend it. Um, and even if it's just from a scent standpoint, I think it's really good to have on you. Um, absolutely. Citrus Fresh and Christmas Spirit. I know, I know, we do, we do. I need to start diffusing Christmas Spirit. It's becoming that like fall time of year here in Central Ohio where I am. Even though this is a Canadian class, this is for my Canadian friends, but I'm not in Canada right now. Um, but I love using Christmas Spirit because it just is so, oh my gosh, it's like my favorite scent in the world. Um, so we had a question about uh, skin, skin support and stuff like that. So yeah, let's talk about skin. We can totally do that. So there we go. All right, so in Canada, we can talk about burns, cuts, bruises, and other minor skin irritations. Um, so they have uh, approved ones. I really like, ooh, sorry, there we go. I really like using, um, personally, one that's not listed as a natural health product. So I'm gonna talk about that one second. Um, they have here listed rosemary and cedarwood, and I like using rosemary and cedarwood both for skin support. Um, rosemary and thyme and sage, marjoram, all those herbal ones are really good for insect aftermath stuff. Um, I think I can say insect bites here. I'm pretty sure I can. In the US, I'm not allowed to, but in Canada, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can. And so any of those herbal ones are really, really good. You'd want to dilute them first, especially thyme, especially thyme, um, because thyme is a very hot, what we call hot oil. And if you use it without diluting it, it can burn your skin. Uh, yeah, so I, I highly recommend diluting any of your herbal ones first, any herbs that you would have in your kitchen. You want to dilute those. Um, helichrysum is another great one to use for skin support. That's great for bruising. Um, or if you have like a, a bug bite that left kind of like a, a little scar or things like that, that's really good to use um, as well. Um, yeah, so here in the US, I like to talk about skin support um, using lavender. Lavender is a great one for skin support. There's also an itch relief sprayer that's called after what do they call that the after sun spray i think is what they call it but it is um approved here in the states by the fda um as an over-the-counter drug for skin irritation so that's a good one to use as well um specifically from like a um a menthol property peppermint is a really good one as well for any kind of you know needing an icy hot kind of feel so um, we had a question about pain. So yes, I can totally talk about pain as well. So we got strains, sprains, and rheumatoid arthritis is what I can talk about. So from a pain standpoint, um, peppermint is a huge one because of the menthol property that's in there. Um, it will feel like an icy hot kind of sensation. Um, deep relief is another huge one that I know my Canadian oil family members love. This is a combination. Let me see if I can open it up here behind you guys. Okay. Yeah. So deep relief, I'm getting this one actually free this month. Mm-hmm, I'm excited about it. Um, this has peppermint, it has wintergreen, Dorado Azul, which is a key component in the uh, Deep Relief, and Helichrysum. And what Young Living says, it's known for their soothing and lasting benefits to create convenient um, on-the-go use. Yes, Deep Relief, absolutely, Amy. Um, to relieve muscle and joint pain uh, associated with strains, sprains, and rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, it's a great companion for trips to the gym or a busy daily routine if you're on your feet all day, if you're walking around the Disney parks all day, hashtag deep relief on your feet, holy heavens. Um, you can put a little roller ball topper on it and just like roll it on your areas that need it. Um, it also is approved to relieve cough and cold. How about that? There we go. Um, I'm not sure exactly, probably because of the peppermint that's in there too. So deep relief. For that question that I had about pain, that would be my number one uh, recommendation for you, for sure. 
for sure. Um, especially after leg day too, for all of my avid exerciser people out there, um, that would be a huge one um, for after leg day when you can't sit or stand or walk around your house <laughs> after doing squats all day. Um, so yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, as far as um, people ask about eczema a lot or eczema and dermatitis, uh, Young Living recommends Helichrysum for that one too. I like Helichrysum a lot. Helichrysum is an interesting essential oil um, because to me it smells like root beer which is weird um, or it kind of smells like the inside of an airplane if that if that's kind of weird or the inside of the monorail actually for you Disney folks um, I don't know why it has that smell again essential oils don't all smell good I would not consider helichrysum a good smelling essential oil um, but really good for dermatitis and eczema also myrrh is a really good one that's a biblical oil you probably have heard of frankincense and myrrh we know that one um, all right any other ones as far as skin goes yeah let's talk about acne um, acne I I use a lot of different things on my face um, what Young Living recommends in Canada from a natural health product standpoint is cedarwood and I talked about cedarwood a little bit before I like using cedarwood in this regard I like to use this to support normal hair growth too I'll actually put some cedarwood as well as lavender and rosemary in my uh, mascara tubes. Um, and I've definitely noticed support in um, my eyelashes. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, but cedarwood is great for acne. Um, carrot seed is also a really good one for acne. That one doesn't smell good either. Again, we just kind of have to get over it, <laughs> get past it. These things work and it's a-okay. Uh, patchouli is another really good one and uh, myrtle is a really good one as well for acne um, if you have the occasional spot you want like a spot treatment a diluted time would work really well for you again you want to dilute this one heavily um, because it will leave red marks on your skin because it's a hot oil so you need to be super duper careful um, when using that one um, one other thing I want to talk about in regards to natural health products is headaches. Um, I had a headache yesterday and I used lavender. Lavender is a really good one to use on the pads of your thumbs. I don't know why that's a spot. Again, it's like the front of your shins for your digestion, pads of your thumbs. I don't know. Um, but you put that there, you can put it across your forehead, behind your ears, back of your neck. It just feels really, really good. And it's excellent for helping you to get rid of headache. Um, also another good one is Aroma Seize. This one, let me see if I can pull it up and tell you what the um, ingredients in there are. Yeah, I can. So in Aroma Seize, there's sweet basil essential oil, um, which is really good. That's the active ingredient that's approved as the natural health product. But then they also have marjoram and lavender, peppermint, and I don't know what that is. Something. <laughs> Something I can't pronounce. It starts with a C. Cuprosis? I don't know what that is, actually. That's weird. I should get my Aroma Seas bottle and see what the uh, the other term for that is. But really good for also helping to relieve headache right in your temples. Keep it away from your eyes um, because some of those fumes, because these things like to fly, they're very volatile. Um, the fumes can get into your eyes and make them water. So you want to keep the anything with peppermint in it kind of back behind your temples. Like go up here um, or behind your ears and that will keep the eyes from watering a little bit. So there we go. So it's really cool that um, Health Canada has approved a lot of these essential oils as natural health products. And you can check these out on uh, the Young Living website in Canada. There's a ton of information out there uh, about what the essential oils can be used for. I want to talk about uh, a couple of other ones that are some of my absolute favorites. Um, right now, as of late, I have been loving this one. This is Copaiba. Copaiba is a funny name. It's from the Copaiba tree in Brazil. And this is one that is great for helping with focus if you have like anybody who's kind of squirrely and gets a little distracted with things. Uh, smelling copaiba or diffusing it is a great thing to do to support, you know, focus and cognition and all of that. Um, also great for occasional anxiety. Love using copaiba in that regard too. Again, topically or just smelling it right from the bottle. Um, yeah, I'll hold it up so you guys can see it. It's C-O-P-I-A-B-A. -A. Hopefully that's not backwards for you. It's backwards for me. Copaiba, Copaiba. Doesn't look like it would be spelled like that. There we go. Can you see that? It's a little blurry. 
sorry. Um, highly recommend this one. This has a, it's 55% beta carifaline. Beta carifaline. Look this up on Google. Oh, good. I'm glad it's not backwards. B E T A, beta carifaline. I'll have to look that up. Hang on. I don't know how to spell that. B E T A. Okay, C-A-R-Y-O-P-H-Y-L-L-E-N-E. -E. And look that up. Look that up. I love this for occasional anxious feelings. <laughs> Once you see why, how much, it's 55% beta -carifaline, um, compared to other types of plants that also contain beta -carifaline and how much or a little beta carifaline is in those plants, you'll get it. Look it up, trust me, you'll thank me later. Um, other one that I wanna talk about too, frankincense. Frankincense, biblical oil, right? We all know that from the story of taking baby Jesus, right? Frankincense, myrrh, and gold. Frankincense in parts of the world is still revered higher, more precious than gold, um, especially in the Middle East. This particular frankincense comes from Somalia. Sacred frankincense is approved as a natural health product, and that comes from the Young Living Farm in Oman. Really cool, cool stuff. Lots of good constituents in frankincense, so you want to look this up. A lot of data has been like researched and a lot of studies with frankincense. Um, take a look. I like to use this on my face. This is my anti-wrinkle cream. <laughs> it's not a cream, my anti-wrinkle oil. Um, so what I do is I wash my face in the evening. After I'm done washing my face, I'll put one lonely single drop of frankincense in my palm. I'll put it all over my face. If I feel like I need extra moisture, I'll put it all over my face with jojoba oil. And it's great for fine lines, wrinkles, age-related, dark spots, that kind of stuff. So I love, love, love using frankincense in that regard. Also good for brain health too um, and cognition. So Frank, love me some Frank. Other uh, ones, I talked about RC already. I talked about Stress Away. Y'all got stink in your house? You got any stinky kids, stinky trash cans, stinky shoes, stinky anything? <laughs> Purification is the anti-stink oil. So this one is great. I will put a drop on my vacuum filter and vacuum the house. And as I go along, that wind or air that rushes past that vacuum filter will freshen the air as I am vacuuming. So it is a like kill two birds with one stone kind of oil. And um, this one, it smells like a citronella candle because there is citronella in it. So it's good to use in the evening if we're taking walks in the evening to keep our little buzzy friends from annoying you love purification in that regard too um but it's really i use it for stink so if i cook fish or if i cook bacon any you know anytime i do that i will put this in my diffuser and just turn it on and it neutralizes the air you can actually put a drop um no five drops of this in a gallon size thing of paint. If you're gonna be painting your house, make sure it is like no VOC paint. We don't want the VOCs. Um, five drops of this will help take that paint smell out. So that's just another tip if you guys are painting your house, five drops of purification in there, really good. Um, okay, okay, holy heavens, that's a whole lot of oil information for you guys. Um, there's one more thing I wanna talk about in regard to Young Living specifically. Uh, stinky diapers. That, that is a great idea. Yeah, home daycare. Absolutely. <laughs> Many of our oil family members run home daycare. Um, so it's just, yeah, they know. They they totally get it. Um, I want to talk about this thing right here. All right, so this is Thieves. This is the Thieves Household Cleaner. And if you follow me on my YouTube channel at all, you've heard me talk about this. So this is a cleaning concentrate. So there's actually about, I would say, maybe 12 to 14 bottles of cleaner in this little thing here. So what you do is you take the cap, the cap full, or two if you want it really concentrated, and you pour that into a spray bottle, plastic spray bottle you can get from the Dollar Tree. I think there are Dollar Trees in Canada, Dollarama, um, Dollar Store, whatever. <laughs> anyway, any of those places, PC, is that a place? President's Choice, is that a store or is that a brand? I don't know. Anyway, get a big spray bottle. Put two um, capfuls of this in there, fill the rest up with water, and it will clean literally everything from your floors to your windows, to your mirrors, to your counters, to your toilets, to your food prep areas, everything. I clean hotel rooms with it because I'm kind of crazy about germs. 
that's true. I'm a little, a little cray cray. Um, so I love using this. And the thing that's cool is it's safe to use around kids and pets. And it smells, you have Dollar Trees, awesome. Dollar Tree spray bottle, I'm telling you. That's all you need. And then you can get like 15 bottles or so of the cleaner out of it. And it smells like chai tea or apple cider or something. Oh, PC is a brand. Okay. I've heard of PC points. I just, I don't know. Um, but anyway, this will clean, for seriousness, everything. Everything. It'll take stains out of clothes. Yeah, out of fabric. Absolutely. Um, I've seen people clean their carpets with this. They'll use this in their normal carpet, like wet carpet cleaner. Uh, very little of this with just water. And it'll take stains out of rugs. It's awesome. Safe to use around kids, pets, and husbands. Uh, and it's cheap. That's the best thing. <laughs> so exchange rates in Canada, there's going to be a little difference. But it's around, we'll round up, around $2 a bottle two loonies a bottle um, per like completed cleaner bottle. It is absolutely crazy. So it'll last you forever and it's super duper cheap. And it's so much better than using like vinegar and water because your house isn't gonna smell like pickles. And there's the, the Thieves Essential Oil in here too. So you're gonna be supporting your immune system at the same time as you're cleaning. So it's just like one toonie, one toonie. Yes, what's a loonie? Maybe two loonies? Two loonies or one toonie, there we go. Two loonies. <laughs> and then you can get a whole completed bottle cleaner. It's just fantastic. So love, love, love the Thieves um, cleaner. All right, so I wanna tell you guys, uh, there we go. See, I we have dollars, I don't know. Um, in Canada, right now, this is only for Canadian folks. They are offering 10% off of the premium starter kit with the dew drop diffuser. That's this diffuser right here. 10% um, off from now, well, September 1st, through September 15th. And that's only for people in Canada. And it's the only the premium starter kit that has the oils. It's 11 essential oils. Let me see if I can remember them all. <laughs> I'll try. Um, thieves and RC, right? Immune system. Peppermint immune system and digestion, digize, also digestion, right? Lavender, like everything under the sun, lavender. Uh, pan away, really good for um, occasional muscle and joint discomfort. Also has purification, lemon, frankincense. Oh, what am I missing? Northern Lights Black Spruce, that's uh, from BC. So that's specific to Canada. And Copaiba, is that right? I think that's right. And from some reason, I'm thinking there's like, you also get a thieves hand purifier too. Hi, Melissa. Yes, yes, now is the time. Happy birthday, by the way, you just had a birthday. Um, with the dew drop diffuser here, this thing right here, this and the oils, 10% off in Canada, only in Canada. Oh, Melissa, you're not in Canada. <laughs> Darn, we'll figure something out. Um, so yeah, and then you get a hand purifier too, from what I understand. Um, only from now until the 15th of September. So if you're interested in that, check out the link that's in the description of this video. Uh, I think it's in, yeah, the description. And uh, it'll show you everything that's that's in there, which is really a great, great deal. Um, you don't get discounts on starter kits very often. Um, also for my Canadian folks, I'm giving $20, that's 20 US dollars uh, back as well. So you'll get kind of like, 39-ish dollars off of your starter kit if you are interested in getting started by September 15th because you get the 10% off and the $20 back from me. So hashtag hop on it if you're interested in getting yourself some oils because I'm telling you guys, these will change your life. I know we've got a number of oil family members watching this right now. They will totally vouch for when I say this. When I got started using Young Living Essential Oils, I was not prepared for how my life would change. <laughs> and it sounds trivial, it sounds weird, I totally get it, I, I know. I was not prepared for it. I had no idea that these things weren't just expensive smelling perfume. <laughs> I had no clue, I had no clue what was in store for me. Um, they're not, oh my gosh. If I knew then what I know now, I would have bought like three starter kits. 
When you use essential oils, you're using them by the drop, not by the bottle. So they'll last you a long time. And actually, Young Living's oils will last you indefinitely as long as they're stored away from sunlight. That's why they're in these really dark, dark, like uber dark bottles. It's kind of hard to see how much is left in the bottle because they're so dark. Um, if they're stored well, they'll last you forever. Of course, you'll go through them and you'll have to, you know, whatever. But I know Amy's saying life changing for sure. I know they've been life changing for her and for her family um, too, who is my oil family. And it's just absolutely like, I don't know how else to say it. I don't know how else to say it. It's absolutely when you have the empowerment to support your family naturally. It's 4 a.m. You don't know what to do. When you have essential oils, I'm telling you, your world just goes upside down. Um, you never have to feel like you need to be a walking encyclopedia or an aromatherapist to use the essential oils. You do not. I recommend there is an app that's called the Ref Guide, R-E-F Guide for Essential Oils, E-O, Ref Guide for E-O, and that's made by Abundant Health. And I think in Canada, it's around $9 or so, somewhere like that. And it is the best app to have on your phone because when you need something, you can look up by ailment and see what do I gotta do? You know, you can do your own research and it'll tell you what oils to reach for, how to use them. And it's just so good because you don't have to keep it up here. I mean, my gosh, I've been using these things for four years and I still use the app to look things up. Because I'm like, well, I've got this going on, so I'm going to look this thing up. Um, it's just so empowering to be able to be, uh, you know, have these tools and to do your research, and it's just so good. So one thing I want to mention, there's a lot of essential oil companies, and I'm going to use the term essential oil in quotes because I do not believe what these other companies have are actually essential oils. I think they're just doctored up perfume smelling things. So with Young Living, they've got this thing called the Seed to Seal Guarantee. And they're the only company that guarantees their product from plants that are planted on farmland that they own or partner with or certify. So there's three different levels of farm certification, but they own their own farms. They own farms across the world. I have been to one. I have planted lavender on the Mona Lavender Farm. It's so cool. And they distill on site and they are totally in control of their entire process from where they're planting the plants they're not using any fertilizers, pesticides, weed killers, anything on them. They're hand weeding. They're distilling these things. It's just absolutely amazing. They do testing, which is totally blew my mind. I just found out about this not too long ago, how extensive their testing is. They have eight different tests that they do three times before the oil is bottled. All right. So they have eight different tests they do in triplicate. Then they bottle it, they take that bottle and they test it again, eight different tests in triplicate. If any one of those tests fails, they will recycle that oil back into the land. They will not sell it to their customers, which is so expensive for them to do, but they will not give you a like yucky quality product. They won't. They rejected a like a huge amount of peppermint essential oil from a trusted supplier and they did the testing on it they didn't just take the word for it that it was the trusted supplier so it would be okay they found mercury contamination in the peppermint oil and rejected it they were like there's no way we're gonna sell this to our folks they rejected it that company took the peppermint essential oil and sold it to another essential oil company and it is out there on the market. I'm telling you guys, you have to be so, so careful. There's no regulation in the US about the safety of essential oils or anything like that. So you have to do your own research. It is so, so important. I'm going to step off my soapbox now, but I got to say, it's just, you got to know, you know your farmer, right? This is just like buying food. You got to know where it comes from. You got to know your farmer. So my farmer is Gary Young, I use Young Living, and that's why. There we go. Can you recommend one for that time of the month? Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them that I use during that time. Um, one of which is called Dragon Time. Um, it is a blend of, let me see if I can remember, there's 
fennel in there. There's, I think, lavender, a couple of others. Clary sage, I think, is in there too. Really great blend for um, uh, that time of the month. Uh, Clary sage on its own is really good as well. I like using that one. Fennel on its own, also really good for, you know, all the different types of things that we go through. Um, if yeah, those would be the, the three main ones that I would recommend. Um, also from like a pain standpoint, peppermint of course is good for pain. We know that. Um, great name for dragon time. I know. Karen, there is a book called Taming the Dragon that it's all about hormone support. Um, so yeah, dragon time. It's funny because my cousins call it demon time. <laughs> So there's that. They live in Canada. Um, yeah, it's just funny. Yeah. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yes. Definitely. I highly recommend Dragon Time for for sure. I just put it topically right on my belly. Or you can put it on the sides of your neck. Um, that's also a, a, a hormone point. Re not reflex point, but like there's a lot of glands up here. Also, your ankles. Around your ankles is another point for hormone support. So Endoflex is another good one um, to check out. It's really supportive for adrenals and adrenals can be affected during that time of the month. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. any other questions that I can answer um, for you guys? I'm super duper. Yes, it would. Absolutely. Yes. Endoflex is really good for thyroid support. Yes, 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 yes. Nutmeg is too. So there's that. And spearmint also which is in Endoflex. So I just go with Endoflex. <laughs> That's fine. And I think Endoflex is available in Canada. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so, and if it's not, you can always buy things from the U.S. Yeah. Um, so it's interesting. So with Young Living, I'll just tell you. Okay. So there's three ways of getting started with Young Living, getting started with Young Living. There's no getting started. It's creating an account and buying products. It's not like whatever. You're not selling off your firstborn child. Um, so the first way is a good way. It's the retail way. You can become a retail customer and it's good because you're going to get good products in your house. Second way is by becoming a wholesale member. And in Canada, it's like free to become a wholesale member. So you should just do that instead of becoming a retail customer. So in Canada, you can become a wholesale member and then just put products that you want into your cart. Um, you're gonna get 24% off of those products. So if you're gonna make an account with Young Living and you're in Canada, I'm serious, just do the wholesale member route. You got nothing to lose. So as wholesale members, you have the option of getting a premium starter kit. And these are kits that are discounted 50% off of the retail cost. They're the one with the dewdrop diffuser, like I said before, this guy is discounted until September 15th at an additional 10% off. Mm-hmm. Kind of cool. Um, so in addition to that, I will give you $20 back. So it's like discount upon a discount upon a discount. Um, if you want to get your oils and your diffuser, this one, the dew drop diffuser before September 15th. So there's that. They also have a, a really good thieves premium starter kit too. This one's not discounted, um, but it has the thieves products in them. So it does have a diffuser though. Um, and a thieves essential oil as well. Plus you get toothpaste and mouthwash, I think, and maybe a laundry soap, a couple other things. You'll be able to see that. Um, and there's also a Ninja Red starter kit too, which is like a nutritional drink. So that's the better way of getting started with Young Living, just being a wholesale member. You're going to get discounts um, off of your products, 24% discount. It just makes sense to do. The best way is also adding essential rewards to that as well, because you're going to save a lot more money that way. So in Canada, if you place a 100 PV order um, through Essential Rewards every month for three months, they're going to send you a free diffuser. Just by being an Essential Rewards member in Canada, 100 PV for three months. Um, at I think nine months, they're going to send you another free diffuser. So that is a perk of being a Canadian member on Essential Rewards. We don't have that here in the US. So that's like a really cool thing. Um, Essential Rewards, it's kind of like um, Costco wholesale member, right? Costco meets a subscription box service kind of thing, um, meets your cash back credit card. So you pick the products that you want to receive at your doorstep every single month. It's completely optional. You don't have to do it, but most people do just because it's just a really good deal. Um, you're going to get the 24% off because you're a wholesale member 
and you're going to get points back. I've heard the term PC points. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, in the US, I equivalent to Kohl's Cash, where you get to use these points towards free products. So most of the time, when I am placing my essential rewards order, I'm not really buying oils. I'm buying things like my thieves, um, you know, cleaner, or my laundry soap, or my dish soap, or my toothpaste, or my personal care products like shampoo, or deodorant, or whatever. Stuff that I would be buying from the grocery store anyway. I buy it from Young Living, I get points back, and I get to use that towards free products for my supplements, or for oils, or for whatever I want to use it on. And it just makes sense. And Young Living will send you products at months 3, 6, 9, and 12 completely for free. Just because you're a member they just send you stuff. It's just an amazing deal. Um, so I know a lot of people start to freak out when they think about like toxic products they have in their houses or things they have in their wellness cabinet that they're like, I'm looking at these ingredients. Oh my gosh, I don't want to use this anymore. And they use other things instead. You know, they want to throw the entire baby out with the bathwater and start over, but it's such a big cost up front to do that. So by doing essential rewards, you're spreading out that cost so it's not so expensive. It's kind of, it's just like a really good perk and you get that as being a wholesale member. So again, you definitely want to be a wholesale member, especially if you are in Canada for Shizzle. You totally, totally want it. Um, it just makes sense. So there we go. That's how you order. I have a link below if you're interested in getting going with Young Living. Um, yeah. That's really all I have to say about it. I, it these things have been completely life-changing for me. I, again, was not expecting it at all. I just thought they were bottles that smelled good and I didn't know that they would change my health, um, improve my health, and give me an alternative to what is just out there in the store. Um, I love it. So any questions that I can answer for you guys. Um, if you're watching the replay, go ahead and leave a comment, of course, below because I'm happy to, you know, go back. I always get, I get emails for every comment I get. I get an email about it. So any comment anyone ever says ever, I see it. <laughs> and I try to respond to all of them or most of them, unless they're really, really strange. And then I don't. <laughs> Ugh. Hashtag internet problems. Um, but yeah, if you do have any questions, um, you can feel free to email me. That's totally fine. My email address is anniesimplelife at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook. I have my Facebook page is just Annie Simple Life. You'll see my face. Um, send me a message through there too. I, uh, you know, just respond back in that regard too. If you're interested in learning about specifically stress relief, I have a class on Facebook coming up tomorrow Ooh, we have a question from Deborah. I am new to Young Living. I just purchased my premium starter kit. Awesome. I need some oil ideas for sleep. I use Peace and Calming that I made a separate purchase. Sure. Um, I've heard things like cedarwood, lavender. Yes. Okay. So for sleep, yes, I highly recommend cedarwood and lavender together. I like to use that in my diffuser. Uh, you could also use it on the bottom of your feet too if you want or like spray some on your pillow like a little pillow spray Peace and calming is good before bed. I like stress away before bed, too um, I don't think stress away came in your kit probably but you can order that now. It's available in Canada now um, Those would be my my big ones also Rudavala you might need to buy that from the US um, It's rue valerian and lavender. It's a roll-on I don't know if that's available in Canada, but you can get it um, NFR from the US. So highly recommend that one um, to, I like Sleepy Eyes actually. That's one of the kids sense oils and that one you do have to get from the US for sure. Uh, yes, you can totally use undiluted lavender for the pillow spray. I, oh, you're in the US. Okay, Deborah, there we go. <laughs> I'm assuming you're Canadian. Yeah, yeah, Stress Away, Rudavala, Kid Sense, Sleepy Eyes. Those would be my three for sleep. Um, I just forgot what she said. Okay, yes, use lavender undiluted in the pillow spray. What I like to do with this is I'll take like a Dollar Tree two ounce spray bottle fill it up with water to like the shoulder, you know, and then I'll put five to 10 drops of lavender in there. Um, and that's a good, good one. Hey, Karen. Yeah, Stress Away is totally one of my favorites too. I know I've been bathing in it today. Oh my gosh. There's some weird energy out there right now. So I've been totally using Stress Away like all day long. 
I used it tonight. <laughs> I used it all day. It's a very good one. Um, any other questions that I can answer for you guys? My phone is about to die. I've got like 3% left on my phone. <laughs> um, if you think of anything, again, shoot me an email, shoot me a Facebook message, or you can leave a comment uh, below this video and I will, uh, I'll uh, be happy to to answer anything. So glad I came across your live post. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Absolutely. If you're going to convention next year, give me a wave because I will be there. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. When is this, when is the U.S. class? It is tomorrow. Oh, um, I have a U.S. class on YouTube already. It is, I did it maybe two or three weeks ago. So if you just look back in my history, there's a live class. Um, and that was a US focused class, not a Canadian focused class. I did talk a little Canadian because um, I had Canadian people um, pop on, but it was a US based focused class just a couple weeks ago. And I have a skin one too. Also a live YouTube video. I don't do live YouTube videos very much. I normally do them on Facebook, um, but I'm glad to do them on YouTube because I know that it helps a lot of people. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Shoot me an email, shoot me a Facebook message, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Don't forget, 10% off of the premium starter kit in Canada with the oils and the dewdrop diffuser until September 15th, so don't forget about that. Um, you'll also get $20 back from me, and you'll join my oil family, so I will be able to support you. You're stuck with me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, Deborah. You're welcome, Jacqueline. You're welcome, Amy. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Always happy to do these videos for you guys. Hopefully they were helpful. And I hope you have a great rest of your Labor Day in the U.S. and in Canada. Uh, back to work tomorrow, aren't we? Yes. Of course, so, oh, you're welcome, Mike. Very, very welcome. And yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Thanks for watching, take care. Bye, bye, Karen, bye. <laughs>